Hey YouTube, what's going on? So today I'm doing a follow-up on the uh, 4489 Red Wings, as you can see right here. You know, I've had these for a few years now, uh, and these are the tried and trues, man. They they hold up. You take care of them, they're gonna take care of you. Put some mink on them once a week, and uh, you know, clean all the junk out of the bottoms of them pretty much every day when I'm done using them. Wipe them off, wipe off all the dirt. Because if you let dirt sit on the on all this area right here, you know, uh, then the moisture builds up and then it it just uh, it'll it'll ruin your boots a lot sooner, a lot faster. A lot of people don't realize that. I mean, this is a tool. This is this is it's it's uh, protecting your your foot, you know, and it keeps you working and and making money, just like a screwdriver or a wrench or anything else, or even the shovel that you're using to to push in the ground, using these to push in the ground, right? Now they do have a couple nicks on them, you know, right here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me get in there, right there. But one, one right here where something hit my ankle, or my, you know, the side of my side of my leg. But for the most part, man, these things they're they're handling pretty well. You know, there's a little nick right there. Uh, they're still waterproof. I haven't had any kind of even even, you know, the tongue comes up to about here, about three quarters of the way up. But I've still had, you know, my whole foot. I have had, obviously, some water go around over the top, but not a lot. If you keep this tight, if you keep these laces good and tight to, to support your leg and your ankle anyway, you're not going to get a lot of water, but you will get some in there. But I've had, you know, been through some, some nasty slop with these, some, some water, some flooding, everything else, and they, they, uh, they're holding up. Now... They are pretty heavy. I will give you that. This just this specific boot. Uh, it's a little heavier than the other pair of boots that I have. Uh, just for the plain fact that there's a there's a lot of it's a lot of boot here. You know, you got the front. This is there's leather all the way around it, and then you got added weight of this piece and the added weight of this piece plus the steel toe, uh, and then you got the steel shank in here. Uh, haven't had any nails protrude through. Uh, of course, then again, I try not to step on nails. You know. Uh, alleviate that all together I think I might have had one yeah see I don't know if you can see that spot right there did have one stick in the boot there but it didn't go through you know uh, again it's just protection and I take them in every so often and I get the I take them to to the local store the local uh, Red Wing store that's right around the corner from my house so that is convenient for me to an extent but they turn these uh, and then they give me new laces if I need them and they there was a while there i think it was just a bad batch of laces they had but uh i was going through them too fast i would just break them pop 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 and i'd go back up there and you know it got to a point where uh i would just take an extra set with me when i'd leave and then relace them but um most recently all of that has has stopped so um or, or not recently but you know shortly after that uh, they did stop giving me uh, crappy laces. I got they just they just came back with some good laces that actually hold up. These have had in there probably about six months now without any kind of wear and tear, any major wear and tear on them. All right, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the follow up on that. You know, a few people have asked about that, like how are they how are they holding up, how are they doing? I haven't had any problems with them, like I said. Uh, other than them being a little heavy, but you know, it's just a big boot. So it's, you, you're gonna, uh, on, on this specific boot or model, uh, the 4489s, you're going to have that trade off with the little extra protection, the, um, uh, you know, and, and somebody else asked if, uh, they're insulated, do my feet sweat? They don't, my feet don't sweat any more in these than they do in my other shoes that aren't uh, insulated. So I personally don't have a problem with that, but that's, you know, that's a personal experience. Some other people might have a different experience on that as well. So, all right, if you guys have any questions or, or concerns or complaints, man, just let me know. Be, feel free to uh, put anything down in the comment section that you want and ask any questions and, um, you know, also be sure to do the whole like, subscribe, pass this on. Anybody else have any questions, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys out in the field. And one other thing, I have replaced this. This is the inner sole. 
it, it's it's one that you buy afterwards. It's still made by uh, Red Wing, but this is the second one of these I've gone through. Uh, it's just because you wear them out. You know, they they put one in there when you buy the booth. It's okay, but this one here gives you a little more support here, uh, a little higher arch support, and they have these in different sizes. Uh, as far as or thicknesses I guess you could say and it's specifically for your foot so what you do is you go to the store and you stand on a machine and it will tell you uh, it's kind of similar to the Dr. Scholl's thing that you see it in in like Bed Bath & Beyond or something but this is a little bit different it's made for your for the boot uh, and, and, and your, your foot and, and they also have you stand on that machine when they when they fit you for this boot as well um, believe it or not I don't know if I said this before, uh, but a lot of people have one shoe half a size bigger than the other uh, when you when you really get down to measuring it and and, uh, and, and doing everything on that side uh, specific of a level. So yeah, you can go into a, you can go to a store and you can buy two shoes and a ten and a half and you put them on. You're like, man, one feels a little bit different. You don't really notice it, but you kind of do. Um, Maybe get both feet uh, checked and see if one's not a little bit bigger or smaller or what have you than, than the other. So, Alright guys, that's the follow-up on these and I, uh, I'll talk to you all later.